You're not giving up the Cubans, are you? No, 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 man. I'm <laughs> just cutting down on everything. No, I was just savoring the smell, to tell you the truth. Remembering the last time I was in Havana, fantasizing about making another trip there soon. Any particular travel date you're considering? December 21st. Day of Tracy's wedding. Sonny? Uh, no. Nope. Sorry. Uh, wrong guy. I didn't realize that Sonny had left, so... Uh, don't worry, you were perfectly safe. You left a couple guards in the living room, a couple more outside. Great. What are you doing here? Uh, Jason wanted me to take you back to his place. Like a Christmas fruitcake that no one wants? <laughs> uh, look. Jerry Jack showed up at the morgue last night to claim Alexander's body. From everything he was saying and doing, it's more and more likely that he is the Balkan. What happened? Uh, well, there was an accident. Jerry drove his van off an embankment. They're still searching for the body. Well, this changes everything, right? You know, this whole idea of marriage at this stage of life, with your eyes wide open, you know, no... No illusions, no fantasies about what it could be. Instead, just the realities to look at. It's odd. You think maybe you're maybe exaggerating a little bit? No, pal, I don't think so. The only woman who ever really came close to domesticating me found herself with endless heartache. What about your marriage to Tracy? Oh, that doesn't count. That was fake. Well, yeah, but think of it as a rehearsal and you survive. I mean, look, it's, it's not so much, I think, what you're thinking of what you're going to do to Tracy. It's what she's going to do to you. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. She's already playing dirty. She wants me to sign a prenup. Ooh. Well, you know, as a, as a businessman, I can't blame her too much. It's still ugly. You should have had a prenup with my niece. How much did Caroline take you for? <laughs> well, you know, aside from getting in my face like every three seconds, um, I think I cost her more than she cost me. Yeah, you're probably right. And we used to fight about everything, you know? Kids, business, my life, which she doesn't, you know, stay out of. Well, that happens with women of strong opinion. Well, she knows me better than anybody. Not that I'd admit that to her. But she thinks that, I, you know, I'm going to wreck myself with Brenda. I'm going to wreck Brenda. And I kind of laughed and, and told her she's wrong. But what if she isn't? Jason's just being cautious. He, he, I agree with him. You should be back at the penthouse. <sighs> I mean, do we, if Jerry really did, in fact, bizarrely, you know, survive this crash, I mean, do you really think that he's going to be in any condition to be able to cause anybody any trouble? Yeah, if somehow Jerry did survive this crash, he's going to be more determined than ever to come and find you. Oh, poor Jax. I mean, I know this guy's a horrible person, but, you know, this is it's his brother. It's... Did you know Jerry? Not really. I mean, when Jax and I were together a long time ago, he was always the big, mysterious, adventurous brother who was never around. And then I did, in fact, meet him one time, and it was kind of obvious to me that he didn't have an honest bone in his body. Well, hey, if he is the Balkan and he is dead, then we can put this whole mess behind us. I hope so, because Sonny and I are finally happy. <laughs> All right, well, hey. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure you get your life back. Then you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, well, that's 
kind of the thing, you know? I thought I wanted to go back to Rome, and now I'm not so sure. The whole thing started out as the perfect scam. Get Tracy drunk, make her think we got married, and then hold her up for a fortune to get rid of me. Why didn't it work out? Because I fell in love with the woman. And now there's no turning back. I'm stuck, man. I'm going to have to go through with this wedding, for sure. Because if I don't, I'll lose her. She'll turn to stone. She'll shut me out forever. I don't want that. Why don't you think of the prenup as a challenge? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm already strategizing options to get around it. Tracy will be waiting for a dumb cry. <laughs> no kidding, man. She's, uh, she's on to me. Woman is smart. That's one of the reasons I love her. No, I'll just put on the monkey suit and say the vows. Gonna be a hell of a show. <laughs> I'm counting on you to be there, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Bring anybody you want. All right. <laughs> hell of a show. Okay. Uh, Max, is everything perfect? Because I want everything perfect for Brenda, you know that. Claire. You okay? Um, you know how you can help right now? If you just leave. Just forget that we even bumped into each other. It's just another example of our tragically bad timing. Are you in trouble? Trouble? Yeah. Oh, come on, don't be ridiculous. I mean, I've been rewarded for my loyalty and work ethic. I've been transferred to Alaska. Uh, look, we should just wait oh, for you. Oh, wait a minute. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just going to ask you the same thing. Are, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Uh, you haven't heard. Apparently not. Why hasn't anyone told him? Okay, now I'm worried. I'm so sorry, it's Jerry. There was an accident last night. Uh, we have reason to believe that you, your brother was killed. I'm so sorry, Jax. Uh, how, did, how did that happen? He was trying to elude law enforcement. He, he drove his vehicle off an embankment. Did you see the body? No, they're still searching for it. Yeah, so, so maybe, you know, it's... Uh... Maybe it's not Jerry at all. Maybe it's um, a mistake. I can accept my brother's death if it means you're safe. What I'll never understand is how he could try to hurt the people I love, especially you. I just don't think it's right. Well, believe me, I brought it on myself. They're punishing you for shutting down the case against me. I mean, it's just not... Um... Well, the evidence was fruit of... Poison tree. I don't care it was if it my was, job to point that out. I don't care if it was fruit of the poison tree. So they're going to send you to what, freezing Alaska? I don't imagine it will be much colder than Port Charles. Huh? Is there anything I can do to help? Nope. I made my choices. I'll take the transfer and turn it around to my favor. But you got other choices to make. You're, you're ambitious, you're smart, you're beautiful. You know, you don't have to stay with, with the feds. I'm considering other options I'd rather not get into. If you need anything, you'll call me, right? I know you mean that, but um, I'll be fine. Okay, so. so. Brenda, I'm gonna send you back to Jason's with the guard. I'll meet you over there. I, I, I don't want to go back to Jason's. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, 
for reasons I still can't fathom, my brother was targeting you. I need some time to wrap my head around that. Yeah, well, I just don't want you to blame yourself. Until we know the dangerous past, I, I think you should do what Dante says. Call me if you need me, okay? Thanks. How much further is it? <laughs> Are we almost there? You better not. Don't pee. Babe, I, how, I can't see a thing. Okay, okay. How can you I stand pee? Right over here, okay? Okay, just wear it. Can, we, can you just take it off? Just please take it off me. I don't want it off me anymore. Take it off. Are you sure? Yes, take it off, please. Okay. Why don't you do Ready? these things to me? Look at that. Ah. I love it. You like that? I like it. It is uh, our tree, our place, because I want us to celebrate. Christmas here. That's what I want. They don't have to cry. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm saying.